News coming to us from Laporte, where authorities are now investigating a deadly plane crash. At this hour, still no word on the identities of those killed in that crash. Glad you're with us this Sunday. I'm Jonathan Martinez. And I'm Sion Rhodes. Laporte police say that downed aircraft is a Carpenter Cole Twin Star 3. The cause is still not known. We first alerted you about the crash through a push alert on our mobile app this morning. And since then, we've been updating the details all day online. Investigators say that plane described as an experimental type plane went down around 9 o'clock this morning. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live at the scene in Laporte report with the very latest on the investigation. Brittany? Well, Sion, if you look behind me, uh, just beyond the fence into the field, you can still see the wreckage. And as you mentioned, uh, that plane reportedly crashed around 9 o'clock this morning, killing two people. James Estes says when he heard a loud boom in the field across the street, he knew something was wrong. I heard it mostly. Uh Something sputtering. I actually thought it was a motorcycle running bad. And uh, then I heard the boom, but I was in the shower. Come out of the shower, then come out here and realized that seeing the plane stuck up, tail end up in the air, and then seeing it, uh, it had crashed. Investigators don't yet know the cause of the crash, but according to authorities, this small experimental plane was attempting to return to the runway when it went down near the Laporte Airport. Two people were killed, and investigators haven't yet released their identity. NTSB is the lead investigating agency and will arrive sometime on Monday. I give you some perspective of the area out here. There are several homes near this field. There's also the First Baptist Church where I spoke with James earlier this morning and he tells me that when he attended his church service this church service this morning, they all took a few moments uh, in special prayer for the victims and their families. Now, as far as the investigation goes, we are told that DPS will be out here the rest of the day keeping this scene secure. Live near the Laporte Airport, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC Channel 2 News. Brittany, Thank you so much.